Evan here from Projectile Tube Cleaning and today I will be discussing some of the competing methods used to clean heat exchangers and condensers. One of the more traditional ways to clean heat exchangers and condensers is to use a high pressure water pump attached to a lance that uses the abrasion of the water as you force the lance down the tube to cut through the deposit. A similar system is a rotary brush machine that uses a lance that spins attached to a brush at the end that through the abrasion of the brush removes deposit. Our system is different in that we use specialized projectiles in a pumping system with a gun that shoot the projectiles through the tube. Now the main benefit of our system is it's much faster than the lance based systems. With a lance you have to push the lance down the tube and pull it back where ours you can quickly move from tube to tube to shoot each projectile. Uh, today this video is going to compare the two processes on a heat exchanger that has 8 foot tubes and 106 tubes. Uh, the video will first show uh, how long it will take to shoot it with our technology and how long it would take to use a lance technology such as a rotary machine.
Based on this experiment, you can see that the projectile system took approximately 12 minutes to clean the entire heat exchanger, whereas the lance-based system, such as rotary or high-pressure water, took approximately 34 minutes to clean uh, the whole heat exchanger. Now, if you took those, uh, how many tubes were cleaned per minute, and expanded the data into tubes per hour, you would get what's in the fourth column, uh, 532 30 tubes per hour with the projectile system, and uh, about 190 tubes per hour with the lance-based system. Now, if you uh, were assuming that you were going to clean tubes for 12 hours with each system, you would get something like this graph. As you can see in the graph, there is a huge disparity as time goes on between how many tubes you can clean with a rotary system and how many tubes you can clean with the projectile system. Uh, to be honest, this heat exchanger is very small compared to other heat exchangers. It has 106 tubes, 8 feet long. Other heat exchangers are, are, are much larger than this, and condensers are even larger. Uh, if you're a company that is cleaning a lot of heat exchangers or condensers in a year, then the cost savings that you could achieve from switching to our technology could be huge. Uh, if you would like any more information on our products or our other heat exchanger and condenser solutions, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.